So I'm right now in, well actually you will find out later in this video. So our story begins 2000 kilometers southeast from here where I'm now, which is Hong Kong. everything was good. I was really jet lagged and as I said in the previous video it was like I slept so well in the plane so I couldn't really sleep during the night and my sleeping schedule was super messed up but I did see a lot of sights. For example Victoria Peak, a boat ride that was in the river at night time and on Friday of course everybody went out so I went to see the bars. After my time in Hong Kong, it was time to go over the border to China. And yeah, I was a little bit nervous. I thank this hostel for the good times. Now, it is my time to go to mainland China. Right now I'm feeling really excited. Because I've always heard things about China, but I have never been to China. So I was a little bit ill-prepared. I had not really set up all the Alipays and WeChats, which are essential, I later found out, to buy anything, because they couldn't take any credit cards or anything. We're in Shenzhen right now. You need a SIM card that works here. I have bought a SIM card, but it doesn't work. This is only a stop, so it doesn't really matter if I get food or not. The trip went from Hong Kong to Xi'an. It was around 2000 kilometers, so twice the length of my country. And we went through that in about 10 hours, which was super fast. Like the train system is so astonishing. It's so good. So after the long train ride, I could go to the end station and I asked somebody for internet so I could buy some, some kind of meat and rice. It was so good. I am now in China and I am in the city of Xi'an. I got myself a SIM card yesterday. You need an internet connection to be able to pay, but in that case you need to buy a SIM card. and. That's hard enough to do in Chinese and nobody speaks English. Like, I've been living my life in such a comfort zone all the time. Like it's a good thing that I get challenged. But right now I have like two days of a mini holiday. So I will go and check out the sites, go and check out this city, which funnily enough, I chose this city because I saw a short of Elon Musk saying that this city is good. I mean, I recommend somebody just take the train from Beijing to Xi'an where you have the terracotta warriors. Um, China's got an incredible history. Hope Elon is right. I'm gonna check out all the old things. I already went to check out the city wall, which is a thousand years old. So I was just there doing all the basic tourist stuff, looking around and learning about the history of mankind and really astonishing what people have done thousands of years ago. Okay guys, let's go and check really historical things. There's supposed to be a car waiting for me. I think it's that one. Thank you. from beautiful China. Yeah, yeah, it has been a really good tourist experience. Um, tomorrow is my kind of sign up day for school, but that is in Shanghai, so... If you ever see this logo on an elevator, it means it's finished. We have a lot of engineers. One thing that you kind of have to get used to is the really unconventional breakfast that you have here. So I've got noodles, vegetables, 
meat. It's not really a breakfast, it's just like a warm meal that's not too spicy. Hello! Time to navigate the airport and not get run over by cars. Shanghai. Please work. Yes. Okay, let's try this one. I have no idea what this is. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, this burger has both. I sometimes can't understand the sheer size of China. 1.4 billion people is such a huge country. Scan your face for your flight information. Yo, what the f So that kind of summarizes my last one and a half weeks. Thanks for watching. Um, we have gotten so many new subscribers again. I thank everybody who is a new subscriber. Now I'm just chilling here for a couple of days. My school begins tomorrow. We'll have some sort of orientation stuff and then, yeah, then school begins. So that's kind of what it is right now. See ya.